By the end of this video, you will be able to change a 2D image to a 3D model in Blender. So we're going to be using a Nike image and we're going to convert it into a Nike 3D model, which is a mesh. We can add materials, do lots of stuff with it, even animate it. So let's get started. So once you have opened up your Blender file, I'm using Blender 4.3, the latest version right now. You are going to have to delete your default cube. And then we're going to do Shift A and we are going to add in a plane. I'm going to scale our plane um, up a little bit, something like that. And then we're going to tab into edit mode and right click and subdivide this. And the number of cuts should be the maximum, which is 100. What did done that? Get out of that preset and then quickly subdivide it again and then do it two times once you have done that you'll notice that we added lots of geometry to our planes as lots of vertices the reason we did this is because we're going to add a displacement modifier to this so tab back into object mode and press the modify properties add a modifier and we're going to add a displacement modifier right there you can search it You'll notice that your plane rises up, moves up on the Z axis. It's because we haven't added any texture to this. So we'll quickly do that. In your texture properties over here, select that. We're going to add a new texture. And that new image is going to be your image that you're trying to convert to a 2D image to a 3D model in Blender. So open up that image. So I'm going to be using the Nike logo right here. Now, you'll probably notice that the white parts of your image are going to be extruded up and then your black parts are going to be just there. Now, I recommend for the displacement, you have to be, it has to be a black and white image, otherwise it won't work. So, otherwise, you can use another method, which will be the grease pencil method, okay? And I'll show you guys that in another video. The link will be in the description. And then now, what we're going to quickly apply our modifier. But before we do that, we're going to quickly decrease our strength so that our Nike logo is just going to be right there. Doesn't want, I don't want it to be that strong, something like that. So now I'm going to apply a modifier like that. Go into side, press 1 to go into front or for graphic view. Tab into edit mode. Go to wireframe. Press 1 to go into front or for graphic view. And select the bottom. Then press X to delete your vertices. And now we're going to have your Nike logo left. You'll notice that we have these vertices that are coming down left. Would you want to get rid of that? We can just flatten them out. So press, press A to select all your vertices. And then press S, Z, numpad, 0, which will flatten them out. And now you won't see them. So once we have done that, we just need to now go over here. And select and as you can see we have some rough edges over here a lot of rough edges on the side so we're gonna go back into object mode as you can see uh, we have some jagged edges for our Nike logo and we want to fix that the way we're gonna fix it is that we're gonna quickly go and we want them to select the we want to select sharp edges at the edges now as you can see we can't really select them um, by all selecting them or we can so I'm going to auto-select the edge at the, at the corner, so the edge at the end, and then I'm going to shift D it, shift D, and move it across right there. So we selected the edge loop with auto-selecting that. Once you have done that, we now can see if we go into solid view, we don't have any face, and that's the good thing. It's because now, if we wanted to delete the face, we have so many faces here, but here we have no faces. We're going to only have one face over here. So we don't need this anymore. We're going to extra delete that. Oh yeah, I remember I forgot to, um, over here, I forgot to P to separate by selection. Separate by selection. And then now we're going to delete this part over here. So now we have our edge only. And then we're going to select this. And then F to fill it. So now we only have one face. Face. If it's a face select mode, we only have one face. So now we have to smooth out our edge. So we want it to be very, very smooth. The way we're going to do this is that we're going to quickly add a new modifier to this. 
I'm gonna add in a smooth modifier to search it's in the default. And we all notice that we have to increase the repeat, increase the repeat to add in our modifier. We are in uh, edit mode last so you couldn't see it, but if we go into object mode, you'll see our smoothness. And now it is super, super smooth, and that looks good. And now what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna quickly, um, quickly fix this over here. So this go into edit mode, and then we're gonna quickly select this part vertices select this and quickly delete these because this can ruin our mesh clean it up x to delete your vertices and let's go back into edit mode i'm in object mode and you'll see we have fixed that you should clean up your mesh as well to see if there's any artifacts or any vertices that are colliding with each other so once we have done that you can apply the modifier if you want but i'm gonna leave it like that and that is literally so good but you can apply it and I applied it and look at that. Our mesh is so smooth. You can also unsubdivide it if you want. But I'm going to leave it to that. And that is literally how you're going to convert a 2D image to a 3D model in Blender. You can use more complex models if you want. But this is the basic way of doing it. So you can also extrude this out. So I can also just extrude this out to add some depth. As you can see that looks super super good. And of course, we're going to have to set the origin to its geometry. So now look at that. And that looks amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.